go ahead, Corey. Let's talk about it. Seven years ago. Seven years ago, and we were right here, but it wasn't it wasn't developed like this. How you got it fixed up now? But we were here, and um, this is when we were actually just starting to use this system, mm -hmm. the system that we use to stream. And so there were still some glitches, right? Mm -hmm. And those punks that she said to keep out of the house, they were working here with us. Don't do that. <laughs> well, well, that's what she said. Mm -hmm. And so then the, we had a we had a glitch that night when Monique was on. Yeah, because this this is going to tie us into <clears throat> our first topic of the right. talk. Go ahead. And so it started glitching, and it was like a delay. And you know how sometimes when you watch TV shows and there's somebody is being piped in by satellite and there's a delay. Well, there were delays that were happening. And I guess Kaya got frustrated. I don't know what happened. I mean, we still don't know to this day what the impetus was for her leaving. I personally think that she used that moment as her reason to go. But I think that there may have been something there. Because I really want to I really want to piggyback off of <clears throat> off of Monique when she talked about Will Packer. Oh, I definitely want to get into that because I've always thought he was. <clears throat> you remember when Will Packer was contacting us about the Queen score? Uh huh. And, and he only contacted and her. And he skipped. No, he he skipped over me as if I was didn't have anything to do with it. Correct. Oh yeah. I can, talk, I can have my Will Packer stories too. Oh, do you think he tips through the tulips? I do. <laughs> my cousin used to date him, Diamond. Uh huh. Oh really? Mm hmm. Oh, am I pouring tea? I'm sorry. <laughs> So when she gave, when Monique said head nigga in charge, it gave very much so. I understand because I've had my experiences in the place of the situation too. And look what he ended up doing with the Queen's Court. He went and gave it. And I love Holly Robinson Pete. I do. <clears throat> and then, but they end up going and taking that name and creating it with Tamar and all this stuff. And they got the Queen's Court dating show. So he had been after that entity that was built for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. So we're not going to talk about the impact and the presence of the of the fag <laughs> in our community. So I was very happy at the point when Monique, can we play some of the thing? Let's play some of it, please. Oh, so you just want to get right. I'm like, let's go right into it since we fag too. I think. Yes. All right. We don't need to talk about Kaya no more. It's nobody talking about it anyway. So let's go up here. To, uh, was it thirty? Was it? Is this? One? Yeah. Thanks. This one? Two oh, two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. And two seconds. Thanks. You know how. And I don't want to put you on a spot, but I'm going to say it because <coughs> I appreciate you as a black man and what you're doing. Thank you. If you are my friend mm -hmm. and someone says to me, Monique Shannon Sharp wronged me. And you my friend. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to call my friend. You can come to me. And I'm going to say, hey, is what they saying true? And if you get to him and Han, I'm going to tell you till you fix it. You and I can't talk. Because if you'll do them that way, you do that. it'll be a matter of time before you do it to me. So if Steve Harvey is your friend, mm -hmm. you call your friend up and you ask him, is what our sister saying right, man? Because if it is, we can't do that to her if that's our sister. See, it took a transgender named T.S. Madison. It was a guy named Jamaica Carter. We, mm -hmm. Jamaica Carter and our mutual friend. Jamaica Carter and our friends. Mm -hmm. T.S. Madison was a mutual friend. Mm -hmm. So Jamaica called me and said, would you mind doing T.S. Madison's show? I go do T.S. Madison's show. When I tell T.S. Madison, when the camera cuts, I said, listen, your friend is wrong. She said, Monique Lee Daniels is my friend. I said, then you need to call your friend and tell him to fix this shit. She said, I will. Within a couple of days, who did I get a call from? Lee Daniels. See, that's a friend. Mm -hmm. That's a true friend that's saying, I love you so much. That I want to make sure that's not on your heart or your conscience. Let's fix it. Let's make it right. So when people ask Lee now, when we did the deliverance together, how was it to work with Monique? It was as if we had never parted ways because he fixed it. He owned it and he took accountability for it. I can't now keep you to the cross because you've owned it. Right. I've had to be forgiven. Right. So I appreciate mm -hmm. the, that someone had grace and mercy with me. The reason why the screen is black, we don't want any copyright infringements. <laughs> Hello. And that video does belong to. We don't want any copyright infringements, and if and if we do get some, we will mute that out. <laughs> right. So just imagine what she said. Y'all watch the interview, so y'all know. Now, 
Even with that being said, when she came forth and she said transgender, do you know that the trans community, some of the trans community, and I'm going to say this in love, Craig, because I understand. Mm -hmm. You ready? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, this is growth. Watch your sister do growth. Okay. Didn't you? Didn't you just? Didn't you see me display growth just earlier? Absolutely. Watch your sister, because I'm so blessed. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm so blessed. So there's no reason for me to have any bitterness in my heart, mm -hmm. any malicious conversation. None. I'm too blessed for that. So, I'm going to continue that. I understand how we are very much so uh, we walk on eggshells in our community and how mm -hmm. the moment that we as trans people get an opportunity to be seen by people who we have been pleading our case to for the longest that we're human and, and they use terms that they are still learning and it's in the other and they say transgender. I saw a lot of the, the, the conversation where the trans community was saying that in those moments that they were the trans, her using the term transgender dehumanized trans people. She was not talking about trans people, Keisha. She was <laughs> no, she was talking about me. Right. This was me and Monique's moment. Right. And this was also a moment for her to take the word transgender and throw it back into the faces of a man that identifies as hetero. He identifies as what? He does. Craig, <laughs> don't do that. What does he do? A man that identifies. <laughs> Hold on, Craig. No, don't no, take no, me out of the no, moment. No, 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 Craig, no, no, no. Do not take no, me out of the no, moment. No. You, you have backed this Buick up in this spot. Do not <laughs> take me out of the moment. He identifies as a hetero. Is he the same one that's running around with that young boy that was... That, no, it's, it's, we're not. Is, is this is this no? We're same? not doing that. So let's leave that there. These are your feelings. Oh, uh, okay. This man, I, you I know, communication is our partner. Clarity, just leave it there. Co co communication is our partner. Clarity is our friend. Do not take from this moment. Okay, go ahead. This man identifies. <laughs> he is a, he identifies as a heterosexual man, a heterosexual man, and he's a part of the heterosexual community. And she sat there. It, no, Craig, don't do this. Because this is okay. important that I say. Uh huh. And she sat there across from that man in that man's face, and she actually took what they say about us, and she made them think. It took a transgender when my own community turned their back on me to stand in the gap for me. And she continued and followed up a transgender by the name of T.S. Madison. And after she said that, she continually addressed me by my pronouns. She and her. Let's be clear here. She continued to affirm me by my pronouns. She, her, and hers. And used my friend. So the outrage that the trans community got from that one statement and, and look completely over her affirming right behind that, I need y'all to, in the words of Miss Sophia, calm down. I need for y'all to calm down. Calm down. Okay? Because when she was speaking, she was talking about me. Me. If you took it from the context of her speaking about the community, look at the entirety of the situation, how she returned back and affirmed me. Because she could have easily sat there in that conversation with that man and said he and him and it and that. And that man could have said he and him and she could have written right on. They could have had a whole conversation in it. Or she could have just simply said a mutual friend of mine in Leeds connected us. She didn't even have to say T.S. No, Madison. I like, right. She could have just, That's she could have omitted me, all <laughs> of that. Yep. She could have completely omitted me and everything. I like the fact, Craig, Mo, can we tap Miss Mary on her shoulder up there? <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact of the matter that she pointed that out because remember the whole debacle when everybody was like 50 cent 
did this and the other and acted as if I had no part or I had no no hand or I had no part or no nothing, how the blogs posted all that. Oh my God, thank you, 50 Cent. Mm -hmm. Like they didn't watch my motherfucking interview. How they how they politely skipped over me, how they did all the things. And that woman sat on that show while 186,000 people were watching live and stated what happened and how it transpired. So please, trans community, this was not your moment. This was not your moment. This was not your moment. I diligently do work in the community. Black, brown, trans, and LBGT community. I diligently do work. Diligently. And yet, I, yet no one speaks of it. Because I'm trans. So therefore, when she says it took a transgender, I was all right with it. Because I understood it. There are times for us to be advocates and there are times for us to stand back and be like, bitch, yes. I'm not Laverne. I'm not Amaya. I'm not Hope. I'm not Angelica Ross. I'm not India Moore. I'm not any of those people, bitch. I am T.S. motherfucking Madison, bitch. The loud, livest, and colors of them all. And I say that with conviction, bitch. A.W.F., the Duchess of all Russia. <laughs> of all. They may not get out there because you don't... You, they get in the paint their way. I get in the mud, mine. And, bitch... What y'all not gonna do is sit over there and act as if I am I am invisible or or I'm trans or I'm just some minuscule piece of the puzzle. We're not doing that. So when the woman did that, I was all right with it. Now the only thing that really made me tap a hoe on their shoulder was when this OnlyFans trans girl jumped up, and I'm not. I, and here's the thing, I'm not reading her because she's an OnlyFans girl. I'm not. What I'm reading her is because, bitch, you're doing all my leftover shit. And you have the audacity. The unmitigated The gall. unmitigated motherfucking gall to speak about scraps when you are doing all my leftover shit. Show the footage, please. <laughs> that girl said, I'm realizing that every queer celebrity be straight up wanting us to be grateful for scraps. T.S. Madison, Flame Monroe, RuPaul, so on and so forth. Y'all be blowing me, blowing me. Y'all don't even live regular lives. What the fuck do y'all be talking about? And I put grateful for scraps. Me, sweetheart, quiet as it's kept, you are doing all my leftover shit. And I'm still 10 toes down out here carving a path for you and yours when you decide that you want to change directions that you want to go in. Hashtag be blessed, beloved niece. Beloved who? Beloved niece. <laughs> <laughs> now she wrote an entire think piece after that that I didn't pay an any entire a, what? think piece that I didn't pay any attention. <laughs> but then she wrote little, little small paragraphs talking about how I don't say anything because I'm not Amaya, you know. So, it, so I understand her representation. Amaya represents the beauty, beauty, the, the, the extreme, you know, unorthodox beauty of the community. And everybody wants to be pretty trans and this and the other. And I understand. And that's great. But what we are not going to do as trans people is minimal, minimalize my presence or impact in our community. We're not finna do that. When it's be time to be on the front line, bitch, I seen a motherfucking whole right. Why does T.S. Madison be the only one? Because I ain't motherfucking scared, bitch. That's why. So I understand the reason why she was going because she didn't see, I'm not her version of representation. But ma'am, when you really look at the grand scheme of things, again, let me point back to you. You're in a lane that I carved for you. Let's be totally clear. You're in a lane that I carved for you so you are doing all my leftover shit. And not only are you doing all my leftover shit, you would want to hope that you, you rise to be a fragment of what I was in that industry. But uh, Maddie, even though she's not, even though you're not 
her type of representation, it, I still don't think it's right though. Because just because somebody isn't your cup of tea doesn't mean the work that they're doing is should be minimized or should be well that's why and that's why i'm not minimalizing her presence on OnlyFans. she may have a nice she might be a wallpaper she might be an icon on somebody's telephone as a screensaver for some man that wants to suck her cock or wants to fuck her in her cornhole or (laughs) or fly her around the united states or out of the country to fuck her well, she is not the icon living that is T.S. Madison. Let us be totally clear on that. And we appreciate her presence and her contributions <laughs> to the OnlyFans community. And I'm not shaming the OnlyFans community, but bitch, that was that is the time after me. Those are those are pebbles and cobblestones <laughs> that I put on the ground for the girls to tread after me. And that is no tea and no shade. Those are facts. You can go to Google right now and type in big dick bitch. Those are words that belong to the world. Big dick bitch and I will pop up. I haven't done adult films, bitch, in over a decade. And I I will still pop up off of those three words. Not even .com, not .org, not .edu, not .anything. Big dick bitch and I will pop up. Ma'am, let's hope that the legacy that you're building by getting your dick up brings you to that level to speak about scraps. We are not the same. You couldn't shame me by my weight. You couldn't shame me by my height. You couldn't shame me by my beauty. We are not the same. And don't you ever let any trick fool you into thinking that we are. You are a daughter. And I use daughter loosely. <laughs>